In this pod, we're going to investigate the images in convex and concave lenses. A convex lens, also known as a converging lens, is curved outwards on both sides. Light rays passing through it come together, they converge. They meet at a point which is called the focal point. This is marked with an F in diagrams. A concave lens, also known as a diverging lens, is curved inwards on both sides. Light rays passing through it spread apart, they diverge. They appear to come from a point in front of the lens, which is the focal point. The distance between the focal point F and a mirror is the focal length. This is a diagram of a convex lens with an object and its image. F is the focal point of the lens. The distance from the focal point to the center of the lens is the focal length. C is the center of curvature, which is at a distance of twice the focal length. You need to be able to construct a ray diagram and so find the position and size of the image. The diagram shows the lens and the object, which is on the left. We can draw a horizontal line from the base of the object through the center of the lens. This is known as the principal axis. The first light ray we draw travels from the tip of the object, parallel to the principal axis, until it enters the lens. It then changes direction and travels to point F on the right of the lens. The second ray goes straight from the tip of the object, through the center of the lens and out the other side without changing direction. The third ray goes from the tip of the object, through the focal point in front of the lens, and leaves the lens parallel to the principal axis. The tip of the image is formed where all three rays meet. This ray diagram shows that if the object is further away from the lens than C, the image formed will be inverted, diminished and real. Inverted means it is upside down, diminished means it is smaller than the object, and real means that it can be projected onto a screen. If the object is at point C, drawing the diagram shows that the image formed will be inverted, the same size as the object, and real. The image will be positioned at point C on the other side of the lens. If the object is between C and F, the image is inverted, larger than the object, and real. If the object is between F and the lens, the rays cannot meet behind the lens, so they cannot form a real image. If you draw virtual rays backwards from the real rays, you can form an enlarged, upright, virtual image. A virtual image is one that cannot be projected onto a screen. You can investigate these results by using an illuminated object such as a candle or small lamp. If you use a candle, make sure it's not close to anything flammable. You also need a convex lens in a suitable holder, a paper screen and a meter rule. To find the position of C, keep changing the distance between the object and the screen until you get a clear focused image on the screen which is the same size as the object. Mark the position of C on both sides of the lens. Measure halfway between C and the lens on both sides and mark the position F. When you have done this, you can investigate the positions of the object and image in the situations we have covered so far. Object beyond C, object at C, object between F and C, and finally, object closer to the lens than F. You can work out the magnification of the lens using these equations. Magnification equals image height divided by object height. Or, magnification equals image distance divided by object distance. If you get a minus sign in your answer, this means that the image is inverted. You can calculate the distances using the equation one divided by F equals one divided by DO plus one divided by DI, where F is the focal length, DO is the object distance, and DI is the image distance. In the case of objects closer to the lens than the focal point, in other words, inside the focal length, you can investigate this using a magnifying glass and looking at small objects close to the lens. Doing this should produce a virtual enlarged image. Similarly, investigating a concave lens would also give you a virtual image, but this time it would be diminished. Another investigation you could carry out would be to set up a convex lens to get an image on a screen. Then place a concave lens further away from the screen than the convex lens and move the screen to get a clear image. 
note that the screen would now be further away. You could then relate your findings to the lenses used in spectacles for correcting long-sighted and short-sighted vision.